It is customary to stand and face the flag to reaffirm our allegiance for freedoms and privileges we experience every day. Please respectfully stand and recite the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hey Eastview. We have a great show for you today. Including an interview with an Athlete of the Week. I'm Michael. And I'm Jordan. And you're, and you're watching, watching The Forecast. forecast. If you order donuts and hot chocolate, they'll be available tomorrow morning or during lunch at the school store. There will also be a few extra donuts for purchase on first come, first serve basis. Any current junior interested in developmental psychology next year must attend one of the scheduled meetings next week on, Jan on Tuesday, January 28th after school or Wednesday, January 29th at 7 a.m. in A204. Please see Mr. Gerber, Mr. Oxley, or Ms. Liefert with any questions. The Apple Valley Police is hosting a Teen Police Academy for students interested in law enforcement. They meet Tuesdays, they meet Tuesday nights from 6.30 to 8.30 between February 4th and March 18th. If interested, you can apply online or get information in the counseling area deadline is January 28th. I'm here with this week's Athlete of the Week, Nick Pegolo, who is a varsity member and captain of the East U wrestling team. So Nick, what has your team been doing this year to prepare for the season? You know, we went to Illinois as a team and we had a couple extra scrimmages. It really helped prepare us for the uh, success that we've had so far as a team. And what have you been doing personally to prepare for the tournaments? Uh, personally, I went to three camps over the off season. Two of them were five days, one of them was 28 days. And you know, I've really actually tried to pick up running as a sport to help improve my conditioning on and off the mat. So, And currently you have a 24-3 and record, so what are you going to try to do to keep continue your success? I like to try to set goals for myself. I just lost to an Apple Valley guy a couple days ago, and hopefully get a couple more shots at him. My goal is to beat him in the section finals and hopefully the state finals if I get there. All right. And I'm sure everybody is wondering, are you going to be continuing wrestling after high school? You know, I'd really like to. I got three colleges looking at me right now, and so I'll make that decision when it comes time. All right. So this is your Regal gift card for being this week's Athlete of the Week, and we wish you um, good luck at your next tournament this Friday at Eastview. The girls' hockey team will be celebrating our seniors this Saturday, January 25th. JV is at noon and varsity at 2 against Burnsville. There will be an on-ice celebration before the varsity game. Please come and support our seniors whose leadership, dedication, and talent will be missed next year. The Eastview girls varsity basketball team defeated Bloomington Jefferson 76-20. The Lightning will play their next game this Friday, January 24th at Egan. Keep on supporting the Eastview girls basketball team. The JV girls basketball team defeated Jefferson last night by a score of 62-24. The team's record is now 12-1. Congratulations, girls. The JV boys hockey team skated to a 1-1 tie against Lakeville North last night. Shots on goal favored our Lightning 26 to 19. Next up for the boys is Apple Valley on Thursday night. The Eastview Girls Nordic Ski Team won the South Suburban Conference Sprint Championships last night with 178 points over Burnsville's 148 points. Margie Freed of Eastview was first. Annika Martell finished in fourth. Callie Hedberg was fifth. Kylie Kramer was sixth. And Sydney Hedberg was 11th. The District 196 Boys Nordic Ski Team finished in third place with 128 points, with Eastview's Sean Tuff finishing in 15th place. All Business Professional America members who qualified for the state conference in March, all registration materials should be turned into Ms. Lakowski as soon as possible. Also, the deadline for notification that you are not attending is today. The Lightning Press will hold a story idea meeting today after school and Thursday before school in Mr. Curry's room, C236. New and returning writers are welcome. Eastview Girls Read is meeting this Thursday, January 23rd, to discuss Eleanor and Park. Meet at 6.45 and C334 for donuts and discussion. RSVP to Ms. Hansen or on Twitter. The mock trial team won their second round of region competition by a score of 229 to 192. Make sure to congratulate all mock trial teammates. 
Any current sophomores or juniors interested in applying to be a member of next year's staff on the yearbook, please pick up an application from Ms. Phelps in C238. Applications are due February 5th. Auditions for East Hughes Bravo are January 26th through January 28th. Sign up in main office. Workshops to learn the audition dance routine are held in the dance studio on Thursday, January 23rd, right after school. Just show up and have fun. The American Computer Science League team will be meeting on Thursday, January 23rd after school in B123 to discuss the content of the next contest. New members are welcome to attend. That's all we have for today, Eastview. See you next week. Bye.